Hello, I'm Brenda, this is Write Your Story, and today we're looking at the next five steps to take after you've written your first draft. If you haven't already seen it, do watch my previous video where I talk about the three beginner mistakes to avoid when writing your memoir. It's a prelude video to this video, so I do recommend that you do watch it. Let's get started on those five next steps. Step number one, reread your manuscript. You've compiled it, you've written it, you've put your heart and your soul into it, and now it's time to reread it. And you reread it with an objective. And the objective is to look at two things. Number one, what was the goal when you started writing this story? Why did you want to write it? What has motivated you to write it? What is that goal that you started out with? And now that you've finished your manuscript, evaluate, is it still the same goal? Or has that goal changed a little bit because of something that's been unearthed in writing your story? It's quite fine to change your goal. So now reread your story, evaluating your goal. Does your story speak to the goal of why you have written this story? Or have you gone off on some trajectory that's taken you somewhere else and doesn't actually speak to your goal? Nice stories that they are, they're really not supporting your goal. So reread your story, evaluating your goal, and next, your themes. What themes have you written to? Did you know the themes you were going to write to when you started your story? Now, if you didn't, that's not a problem. And I'm gonna do a different video on themes altogether. You don't have to know your themes before you write your story, but you do need to know your goal and why you're wanting to write the story. Themes can be unearthed as you write your story. So now when you reread, you need to coax out what are those themes that have organically appeared in your story. And if you already had some themes that you were writing to, are they supported? Do they support your goal? Are they in your story and how do they show up? So reread your story looking at your goals and your themes. Once you've reread your story and you've gone through it with that in mind, your next step is to do the rework of your story. And this is the hard, nitty gritty part of writing. It's an integral part of writing. As I said in that previous video, it's a mistake to think you're gonna write once and you're done. You have to do the hard work of editing, rewriting, reworking, and the one we all don't like, removing. Which parts need to come out? So when we're rewriting, we're wanting to look at sentence structure. We're wanting to look at how we tell our story. Can we say it better? Can we use fewer words? Can we describe it differently? Does it need to be rewritten in light of our goal and our themes? Should we change it up a little bit? Should one scene stay but not here, go somewhere else? Or should we rework it that actually this whole section needs to go somewhere else or be removed. That's the other thing we're looking at. We're going to be ruthless with our manuscript. It's hard many times for writers to be ruthless with our manuscript. So the fourth step you're going to do with regard to your manuscript is ask somebody to be a reader of your manuscript. Now this person, you want them to be trustworthy. You want them to be, give you an honest but gentle feedback on your manuscript. You don't want somebody who's gonna rip it apart and just break it all down. That's not their role. Their role is to look at what you've written and to explain to you or to give you feedback on where their themes, where perhaps you could be stronger with your writing. So you want someone who is a good reader and who understands writing and in the genre in which you're writing. That reader is going to be really crucial in helping you to hone your manuscript, to understand which sections you perhaps need to remove, which ones need to be rewritten, which ones need to be reworked, they just bring an objective opinion and it's a really crucial part of the writing process. And then after we've done all that, we've reread, we've reworked, we've rewritten, we've worked with our beta reader to help us with our manuscript, you do want to engage an editor. 
This is a crucial next step after you've written your first draft, is to consider who will you have edit your work. It's imperative to have an editor. I know from my own experience, once I'd written my story, the editor worked with me to make it even better. I learned more about writing as I worked with the editor and she took my story and she helped me to hone it, refine it and take it deeper and stronger. Now the editor is not there to rewrite your story for you. She's there or he's there to help keep the tone of your story and the message of your story but to help it to be better and to perhaps bring to your attention areas where you need to do that rework or that rewriting or that removing, just to refine your manuscript and make it better. This is all part of the writing process, it's all part of being a writer, and it's all part of having a memoir manuscript that others will want to read. So if you haven't already got your copy, down below I have a free download on the seven key ingredients to writing a great memoir, one that others will want to read. Don't forget to get your own copy. Do subscribe, click on the notification bell, and I'll see you in our next video as we talk all things memoir.